we got another one. We absolutely got another one. Michael Anthony Fitness. This guy seems to be a Cowboys fan. Michael Anthony Fitness. Let me get some light in here. You know how I do when I'm riding in the when I'm riding in the slab. Let me get some light in here. Michael Anthony Fitness. Let me give you some advice, bro. First of all, you know, I hate that I, I don't like to tear a man down. I don't like to do stuff like that. But Michael Anthony Fitness, where's the fitness? That's number one. Number two, why how do you how is it that you know so much about the Eagles quarterbacks and you could diagnose Carson Wentz not ready? You seem so happy about that. You should be, I guess, because he will destroy the Cowboys. Nick Foles is hurt. Our line is suspect. Nate Sudfeld can't be no backup or start. How how can you diagnose all of that, but you have nothing wrong to say about the way that your pathetic Cowboys also look in preseason? You guys need to learn to keep the Eagles' mouths out your... You got to keep the Eagles' names out your mouths at some point. You got to. Especially if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan. We've been over this so many times with the Cowboys not winning anything. And year and year and year and year and year out, the Cowboys are being very so optimistic in the offseason thinking that this is their year. Come on. The media, the, the, the media pushes the name Dallas Cowboys. The media pushes it just like the media pushes the Cowboys in sports the same way that they push promoting schools getting shot up. We don't need to see that on TV all the time because there ain't nothing good going to come out of it. Talking about the Cowboys or talking about a damn school getting shot up. Now be for real here. Be for real. Are the Dallas Cowboys going to win the Super Bowl this year? What are the Dallas Cowboys' odds of winning the Super Bowl? They damn sure not higher than the Eagles' odds. They damn sure not higher than the Eagles' odds. And you know, and you know, people, and you know, like, 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 like I keep saying, like I keep saying, people want to bury Nick Foles right now. How can you bury Nick Foles? He's had the most productive postseason of any Eagles quarterback in Eagles history. You can't bury that man. Two preseason games. Two preseason games without his without the best weapons that we have to offer and without implementing the system that makes him comfortable to run pass option. Dallas Cowboys, y'all, this offseason, y'all seem to stop talking about Dak not being accurate past 15 goddamn yards. Y'all seem to stop talking about that. That if y'all can't run the ball, y'all can't win the game. And now y'all defense is looking legendary with all these young bucks on it. Come on, man. Y'all gonna get picked apart. Y'all gonna get picked apart, man. I can't wait for September 6th. I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. Nick Foles hurt? How's he hurt? He just played the last preseason game. Played the whole last half. If he was hurt, they wouldn't have had him out there, man. Use your brain. We're not the Browns. Clearly, Tyrod Taylor hurt his hand, but they put him back in. We're not the Browns. Nick Foles' injury is minor. Our line suspect, the whole starting line wasn't even there. Yeah, the guys that won the Super Bowl was there, but Jason Peters is coming back to that suspect spot to plug that hole. You guys don't watch football. You guys don't watch football. You guys get on here. You guys try to get do your little graphics. You guys try to have your little nice shimmery little background. You guys put on your fan gear, but you guys don't know the game. You don't know the game. You don't know the game. No, we will not donate to your channel. No, we will not do none of that. You don't know the game. You're just getting on here talking. You don't know the game. You don't know the game. And I'm getting sick and tired of people who don't know the game speaking on the game that I know about and the team that I know about. You don't know anything about what's happening with the Eagles, especially if you're diagnosing it off a of preseason where you haven't seen Nelson Aguilar, Alshon Jeffrey, Darren Sproles, Corey Clement, Jay Ajayi. These guys have not played the preseason, a, a meaningful preseason game. Jay Ajayi played, I think, in the first preseason game just to knock the rust off the wheels because he's going to be primarily toting the rock. You got guys... You got teams and you got teams playing like their hearts depend on it in preseason. I've never seen that. I've never seen that so far in my life. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. When the team gotta play so hard in the preseason, they gotta try to sell the, they gotta sell these tickets now. That's like the Browns used to do. The Browns used to go 4 0 in the preseason. They used to try their little heart out. Last year they went 4 0. Try their little heart out. Tried it out. Try their little hearts out. Sold some tickets, built some hype, and didn't win a goddamn regular season game. Didn't win a regular season game. 
Nobody ain't trying hard in preseason. Nobody not trying hard in preseason. People are trying out players that they think could back up prominent pieces. You guys don't even understand the concept of preseason. So you want people to understand you, what blah, blah, fitness, whatever your name is. You want people to understand that you know about the Eagles. You want people to understand that you know about the Eagles. First of all, the Eagles not even your team. Second of all, you make no sense. You don't sound like you know what you're talking about. But you, yet, you, yet you're talking about the Eagles. For what? Congratulations to Odell Beckham for getting this contract. I didn't think it would happen this soon. I didn't think it would happen this soon. Congrats on a mega deal. Actually well deserved. Odell Beckham Jr. is a beast, is a problem. Is a problem. But I don't think he's scoring on the Eagles this year. I'm gonna just put that out there. I don't think Odell Beckham Jr. will get a touchdown on the Eagles this year. This is gonna be the year we don't let Odell score. Way to get your bag though. I think you're gonna I think you're gonna do I think you're gonna do a lot of people in, but it won't be the Eagles. Back to this guy talking this Cowboys nonsense. I don't understand where the Cowboys get the testicular fortitude to even talk about winning like it's something that they've been doing recently. Like I said, over the last 20 years, we've been better. We've been we've been better than the Cowboys over the last 20 years. The Cowboys want to talk about historical win percentages and stuff like that. The Cowboys claim to being great has absolutely nothing to do with what is going on in the modern era, in the modern era of, sp of sports. Don't talk about quarterbacks if Dak Prescott your quarterback, because Dak Prescott not better than Carson Wentz or Nick Foles. Dak Prescott might not even be on Nate Sutfield level. Dude's not, dude, dude's not intelligently breaking down the game no more. What they're doing is they talk about what they're reporting. They're not intelligently breaking down the game no more. As you, as you as you've seen, as you've seen, I can get you a box of toys, a box of figurines, and break down what an RPO is for people who keep asking me. I could break down diff different defensive schemes. People can't do that. People only repeating what they hear. Only repeating what they hear. People only repeating what they hear because they think what they hear is the truth, which is why people think that it's time to now come down on the Eagles because they're repeating what they hear from analysts that's doing the same thing. Because these people only watch ESPN. These people watch Skip Bayless. These people watch these guys. So they just repeat what these guys said. Just because a dude is sitting in a, in a suit in an office don't mean he know what the hell he's talking about. Skip Bayless never played football in his life. And he a Cowboys fan. So you think he wouldn't be biased towards the Eagles? Come on. Then you got guys talking about class, talking about the classy thing to do. The classy thing to do. What's classy? If you're reporting on sports in your own element and you know what you're talking about, you don't have to repeat what other people are saying. You don't have to report you don't have to report on sports or on the Eagles for that matter in ways that make other people comfortable. You gotta do you, you gotta do it your own way. You gotta do you and do it your own way. That's what makes people want to look at what you're doing. That's what makes people want to look at what you're doing. I had videos walking outside, I had videos in my in my recording section of my house, I had videos in my car, I had videos at the gym, I had videos while I'm eating, and that's why I feel like I'm the best reporting on the Eagles. Because when it comes to me, when I gotta talk about it, I do it organically. I do it organically. And if you don't like when I'm making a video when I'm eating, if you don't like when I'm making a video when I'm working out, if you don't like when I'm making a video when I'm driving, then I encourage you to go find somebody who makes you comfortable. Because I ain't the guy for you. I'm Lil Brunson. I'm the best reporting on the Eagles. And that's the bottom line. That's how I feel about what I do. That's how I feel about what I do. That's how I feel about what I do. Other YouTubers with, with, with close to numbers that I've got, other YouTubers with even closer numbers I've got, got about four, five, six, seven years in reporting on the same crap and not winning nothing. I ain't got that problem. I came in last year. I was able to make my channel successful and I'm going to keep it pushing for the real ones, for the real Eagles fans. We're not out here just to be talking and reporting what's going on in sports and we out here to use critical thinking. Critical thinking. Critical thinking. That's what we out here to do. Come on, man. You talking, you, you, you talking about what you think. Nick Foles looked bad because you think he looked bad. Yeah, visually he looked bad. Visually, Nick Foles looked bad. We get it. We get it. But did your thinking cap ever turn on to the fact that Alshon Jeffries, you ain't even seen him since he last was scoring in the Super Bowl? You ain't seen, you ain't seen, you ain't seen Nelson Aguilar or Darren Sproles. You ain't seen Corey Clement. 
You haven't seen a bunch of stuff yet. You ain't seen Jason Peters back. You 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 seen Jordan Hicks looking good, but you ain't seen you ain't seen everybody back on cue. You ain't seen B Graham yet. You ain't seen how deadly the the, the bull rushes and the pass rush packages that Jim Schwartz that that, that 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 the guys are cooking up. You ain't seen it. You haven't seen it. So until you've seen it, then you can report on it. Then you can report on it. If Foles was hurt, he wouldn't be playing. So what are you saying, blah, blah, fitness? You don't know what you're talking about, man. You don't know what you're talking about. And we can all see it. Report something intelligent on the Cowboys. Because I know what I'm talking about. And I got some things to say about the Cowboys. They trash. They ain't won, they ain't won, they won two playoff games in, 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 in 20 plus years. These are facts. Next time, make sure you report on facts. Report on facts. The last time the Cowboys won a Super Bowl, you, if you wanted to record that, it was on VHS. Let's talk about facts. There was no touch, there was no touch screen iPhone last time. There was no touch screen phone when the Cowboys won a Super Bowl. Cars didn't have digital GPS that you can see on the dash. Let's talk about facts. There was no recording in HD what I'm doing right now. The game was different. The game was catered to running the ball. Now the game is won through the air, which is why you have a hard time adjusting, Dallas, because you can't win through the air within the last 20 years. You just want to build your offensive line and think you're going to still win like the Emmitt Smith days. These are facts. This because I know the game. How many, Cow How many Cowboys fans have told you that? How many Dallas Cowboys fans have told you that? You're still building your team like it's a running league when it's not. When it's not. Zeke ain't going to win no Super Bowl without being able to mix the run with the pass. Without Dak being able to be a great elite quarterback. Or without you having an elite defense and an elite running game. Because you don't have an elite defense. You have, you, you have a pretty good running game. You have a running game that's trending towards elite, but you don't have an elite defense to complement an elite running game. So therefore, milking the clock and thinking you're going to get the ball back ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. You can control time of possession with your run game, but you will not be able to score because your offense is, I mean, you will not be able to, you will not be able to get quick three and outs and get the ball back to your run game. If you're milking the clock and other teams scoring, the other team scoring damn near every drive. What good is having a decent run game? See, the Eagles are able to milk the clock and shut you down on the run. Or shut you down on offense, which is what we did to Minnesota. And that's how you get a blowout. We are able to score on offense and shut you down. That's how you get a blow. How many blows have the Dallas Cowboys won last year? How many times did the Dallas Cowboys blow somebody out last year? Somebody leave that in the comments for me. Since all these guys think they know so much. I want, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want somebody intelligent to tell me right now in the comments how many times have the Dallas Cowboys blown somebody out? Not many. Not many, if any. Not many, if any. Because intelligent football people who know the Dallas Cowboys are not designed to win convincingly. Convincingly. The Dallas Cowboys are designed to run the ball, control time of possession, and hopefully, hopefully think they can get a three and out. Hopefully think they can stop you. But if they can't stop you, they are working against themselves. They are ending the game while you are scoring every time you touch the ball. They are running the game clock out while you are scoring. And then when they get too far behind, they have to throw the ball. And they put themselves in a bad position to where they cannot come back and win the game. Because they cannot throw the ball. This is Lord Brunson breaking down why the Cowboys are one-dimensional. Why the Cowboys have not succeeded in the modern era of football. And why Blah Blah Fitness needs to zip it and worry about his own team.